Main Street on Memorial Day. Back when things were simple. When a can of soup cost just a nickel. When folks could leave the doors open on a hot summer night. When Memorial Day was a relatively new holiday. Back when people not only enjoyed a day off, but took time out to honor those servicemen and women who have fallen to keep us free. And remember those loved ones who enjoyed that freedom before passing on. Much has changed since the days of milk wagons and trolleys. Life in America is much different now. Yet, Americans across the country still celebrate the lives and sacrifices of those who have died both in civilian life and in the name of liberty. This is a national holiday, a day to reflect, a day to gather together as one nation. This is Memorial Day. Today, Memorial Day in Royal Oak is celebrated as it has always been by joining together downtown on Main Street in a yearly tradition, a celebration known as the Royal Oak Memorial Day Community Parade. Welcome to the City of Royal Oak and the Memorial Day Parade. My name is Andy Aubrey, and I'd like to introduce my co-host to you, the First Lady of Royal Oak, Ms. Jody Ellison. Good morning, and welcome to Royal Oak's annual Memorial Day Parade. Andy? Well, Jody, are we going to keep the rain held off for the parade today? Well, I certainly hope so. It certainly is clearer than it was an hour ago. It looks like it may be a little, uh, little cooler than it could be, but uh, clear. Well, so far, so good. And... With that, we will introduce the opening of the parade, which, as always, is our fine Royal Oak Police Department leadoff car and the color guard and honor guards following behind. Behind the color guard and honor guard is the Royal Oak Fire Department. Looks like we have our latest fire truck in the lead. If any of you haven't had a chance to see it, you need to go down on Troy Street and check it out. It's huge. I think they call it the Bronto, Andy. Is that it? Uh -huh. There it is. 135 foot. the engine truck and the ambulance all here keeping us safe and sound and behind them is the motorcycle team doing their figure eights trying desperately not to run into one another so far so good so far so good these guys have done this before they were out practicing in the parking lot just a few moments ago they asked us to help them out, but our balance isn't quite as good as theirs. No, I hope you're doing a fine job. You don't want to see these guys in your rearview mirror, <laughs> if at all possible. 
So far, so good on that, too. Yeah, luckily, I'm, uh, I'm clean. I don't want to jinx myself. <laughs> Sheriff Bouchard. Yeah. Here he is. And family. Preceded by the Derek car. Sheriff Bouchard is also one of the regulars in our parade. He comes pretty much every year. Yeah, he's very good about that. And alongside him, the Oakland County Sheriff's Department motorcycle team. Ah, uh, yes. Sheriff. Shaking the hands of the luminaries here in town. the Oakland County Sheriff Boot Camp truck. The boot camp program for the juvenile offenders here in Oakland County. the Troy Fire Department fire truck, Chief Bill Nelson. It's followed up by a 1929 Model A Ford. Irene and George Jones from Royal Oak are the owners. the U.S. Battleship Missouri B-63 float, Mr. Carl Bulak of Troy. Three very happy young ladies riding on that float next to a replica of the Battleship Missouri. And now the Celtic Pipe and Drums from White Lake, Michigan. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2004 Memorial Day Grand Marshal, Joseph Tobin from the Canadian Legion. Behind him is a Spitfire, driven by Mr. Ken Danik of Lake Orion and the Canadian Legion Post. 
And the Royal Canadian Post, number 83, Commander Ray Miller. Post 84, well represented here. DFW Post 1669, the junior and senior Poppy Queens coming along. Preceded by their own color guard, we're well represented here by the posts. Acorn Post 1669 with a presentational wreath. Memorial Day history for anyone who may not know. The first Memorial Day was said to have been celebrated in about 1866. There is a small town in Pennsylvania that claims that they had the first celebration in 1864. Both North and South have honored their fallen. In 1966, President Lyndon Johnson proclaimed it a national holiday and it was first celebrated in 1971 in the United States. the Three Flags chapter, the Daughters of the American Revolution. Daughters of the American Revolution continues to be active today. Many, many community services, including scholarships for uh, seniors in high school.
Knights of Columbus, 1340, is that 1340B? Excuse me, National Shrine of the Little Flower. Baptist Church on Main, 165 years young. And the first truly effective use of a two-sided banner I think I've ever seen. Their very, message is on the back. Very effective. might be the great great granddaughters of the American Revolution. I think you may be right. Oh, and there's a great great grandson. More daughters of the American Revolution. The Ezra Parker chapter. Well done, ladies. He's not a daughter of the American Revolution. No, yeah. he's not. You can't kid me. <laughs> <laughs> Local attorney Steve Gittleman and his sister Sharon following up in the Royal Oak Citizens of the Year convertible. Some archers in the from the Kentucky Infantry Civil War unit. They look good for having fought in the Civil War. They sure do, and they're still on their feet. They're I'm pretty still, proud of they're that. They're still up there. Long trek from Kentucky. I'll tell you. It may be interesting to note that the crowd attending the first Memorial Day celebration, or ceremony, excuse me, at Arlington National Cemetery was approximately 5,000 people. And American flags at that point, as now, were placed on each and every grave of those who served in the military. Memorial Society retired Colonel Benita Beckles there in the red Thunderbird adorned with the American flag.
And the Royal Oak Memorial Society Grand Marshal, Mr. Robert Baker. There's the Royal Oak Outs. Coming along behind, 15-23. And 15-23, the Rapiti Club. 75 years and 60 years of community service, respectively. Marching band under the direction of Jim Connaughton. Mr. Connaughton, we've heard, is retiring after 32 years of service to Kimball High School. Behind him, Oakland County Commissioner Pete Webster and family behind the parade, or behind the uh, band. We don't get the right. We don't get the right. Commissioner Webster now. And two of Roy Oak's favorites, the Levin brothers, U.S. Senator Carl Levin and United States Congressman and his brother Sander Levin. Let's give them a round of applause. Senator Levin showing his allegiances, the red wing hat on. <laughs> And there is U.S. Representative Dave Woodward. Actually, he's, excuse me, he's our state rep. I'm just hoping for bigger and better things for him. <laughs> what? McGruff the Crime Dog. Andy, what do you think about, about McGruff? Oh, there? I love McGruff. Every year. I hear he's kept you out of trouble for a long time. Kept me on the straight and narrow more That's times than I can right. remember. McGruff. McGruff. <laughs> With the overcoat. Thanks for all you do, McGruff. Thanks. McGruff has a bodyguard, I think. Well, I think he probably needs it. He probably gets 
just rushed by adoring fans everywhere he goes. The kids love him. Absolutely. And there's the Fraternal Order of Eagles. Union 2092. Next up, we have the Fraternal Order of Eagles Auxiliary 2902 drill team. Behind them, the Royal Oak Lions Club. Roger Kirk in the passenger seat today. The flag getting heavy. All our fraternal organizations are very well represented today. Despite the, uh, the rainy start to the day, they've all pulled together and shown their, their town spirit. We have the Longfellow Oak Ridge Preschool Graduation Class of 2004. It was a long road for them. <laughs> they made it. It's all They're down here from smiling. here. Yeah. <laughs> and just wait till they get out in the world. We got surprises for them. Layaway Preschool, Royal Oak Recreation Department. These are the next in line for the graduating okay. class of kindergarten. Got it. Behind them, the Royal Oak Optimist Club. Safety. Safety on wheels. Reminding everybody to wear your helmet when you bike. Jack and Patty Salter there, riding in the convertible, showing their Michigan allegiance. And Jack and Patty, as you may know, are the, uh, the couple that our recreation center in the South End is named after. They've done an awful lot for the youth of this community. Jane Adams Middle School Performing Arts. Huge representation, very nice.
Adams Middle School, sixth through eighth grade, showing quite a dedication already to uh, performing arts. the Jenny Gordon Baton Majorettes following up. Try and twirl a baton. Uh, well, <laughs> when I was quite a bit younger, yes, but I have not been this foolhardy for a very, very many years. <laughs> it's tougher than it looks. I am not given to that kind of coordination, I'm afraid. I give them a lot of respect. Next up, we've got pack 1611 from Longfellow School here in Royal Oak. Cub Scouts and parents. up by Brownie Troop number 3022 from Whittier Elementary School. Face of the future, ladies and gentlemen, and it's all smiles. <laughs> Cub Scout Pack Shrine of the Little Flower. Next up, we have Keller Middle School, home of the Comets here in Royal Oak. Keller Middle School Marching Band is under, under the direction of Dave Jensen.
Next, we have Cub Scout Pack 1627 from Willow Whittier Elementary. Right in front, we see our little tiger cubs in their orange shirts. That's always my favorite. Those oh, are the brownies. Absolutely. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. from the 1627. Go, buddy. <laughs> Fast on their heels, we have the Royal Oak Youth Soccer Association Bunnies, the under seven team. Behind the bunnies, the Girl Scout Troop 3604 from Southfield. Girl Scouts of Metro Detroit Troop 3043. That's the Oakland Troop. Just in case you're wondering who they are, they're telling you right now. That's right. And behind them, Girl Scout Troop 3676 from Longfellow Elementary. They're the Junior Girl Scouts. Coming up now, Royal Oak Center for the Performing Arts. They do dance, theater, creative mo movement, and vocal lessons. Well, there you go, Andy. Now we have a place to go. I know. What is creative movement? I've often been a little foggy on it. Well, creative movement is, let's see, you want to be a tiger? Let's move like a tiger. Okay. Uh, let's let's fit, the, uh, fit the act, the role that you're doing. Got it. And now the Royal Oak Youth Football Program, the Chargers and the Chiefs. Registering for football next weekend, all right. Next weekend. Get is ready it, for is football Is it June season. yet? Yes, no, it's <laughs> oh, not. Goodness. Tomorrow it will be. 
And behind the football players, we have the Royal Oak Sandlot Baseball League. The young boys of summer. That's right. What's a good word? Behind them, the Whittier Girl Scouts, remembering our veterans. And St. Paul Lutheran Church and School. Next up, the Cub Scouts, Pac-1607 from Royal Oak and the American Legion Post 253. Coming fast and furious behind pack 1607, we have the Northwood Girl Scouts. Troop 156. Historical Society. Families in period dress. It's a lovely day for the parasol. <laughs> and if I'm not mistaken, it's Mr. Carl Borsati with the calliope. It's an authentic antique circus calliope built around 1900. The largest of the air calliope is a very rare 53 whistle variety. It was once in the fun house of the old Eastwood Gardens amusement park in Detroit. And for many years it was owned by the Detroit Edison Company. Mr. Carl Borsati of Dearborn, now the owner. DPW truck. Now that's not Greg Rassel. <laughs> Driven by one of our many fine highway workers. It's the highway division truck. And that's about it, bringing up the rear police department again. And there's Tom Halleck. Mike Anderjack there and Pacapello, Tom Halleck, all city commissioners, seated commissioners this year. And another luminary about town. Behind them you see coming up with the red wagon, Mayor Jim Ellison, his daughters Maddie, Sarah, and his grandsons, Brendan and Michael. 
You better get those names right. <laughs> I better. Hello, Mayor. Good job, sir. Well, Jody, another, another fine, successful parade here, and I think it bears mentioning that Memorial Day really is about remembering our fallen heroes and those who are fighting to keep us safe and let us enjoy the freedoms that we have uh, and express some of our feelings like the churches and so forth that are all here exhibiting. And um, that's really what this day is about. Absolutely. Regardless of your politics or your religion, it's about appreciating those people who have gone to bat for us. Absolutely right. So uh, it was a pleasure working with you. And, and maybe you too, we can Andy. do it again next year. And I guess with that, we'll wrap it up and say so long from here at this year's 2004 Royal Oak Memorial Day Parade. Thank you. Thank you.